Do you know JavaScript? Well, round 1 has been a success, so here's 10 more minigames. I will go through each of them and explain you the answer. If you want a faster version, click here to get to that video. Game number 1. We have value which is 3, then we do value plus plus and plus plus value. So the console will log two numbers. And the two numbers are 3 and 5. 3 because value plus plus executes this uh, sum operation only after evaluating the value. So it first console log the number 3, then increases the number by 1. And the number is 3. On the other side, here the value is increased before being evaluated. So value it was already 4, becomes 5, and then is sent to the console to the log. Ok, game number 2. Here we have the answer which is 1 underscore 2 plus 3e1. And believe me, they're both valid numbers in JavaScript. So if I sum these two numbers, the answer can only be 42. 42 because you can separate numbers with underscores in JavaScript. For example, you can use them if you want to write a big number. For example, you can clearly see that this is a million. And 3e1 means 3 multiplied by 10 at the power of 1, which is the same as saying 3 multiplied by 10. Game number 3. Okay, this one is a little bit longer, so let me move the console. We have a function called hello, a function called word, and we return here an object and here another one. But as you might not expect, the output is the first say hello and the second undefined. Well, this is a little thing of JavaScript and also VS Code highlights this as gray, also unreachable code detected, because this will just return undefined and not actually the object. For example, if you format this code, you will find that Prettier will add a semicolon here and you can clearly see what is going on here. Game number 4. We have an object called me with a name, another object with socials and Twitter with a string. By the way, this is my handle so go follow me. And we copy this object with the spread operator, we reassign the value name and we reassign the value Twitter. Go also follow my friend Luca. So, what happens if I console log both objects? Well, you might think one object is with my name and my handle, the other object has Luca as name and his handle, but both names have the same Twitter handle. That's because if you copy an object with the spread operator, you're copying the references of the nested objects. So this social object is actually the same on the object me and on the object Luca. So if you reassign the value of the socials object here inside the Luca object is actually the same sharing with me. So the handle will be the same on both cases. Game number five. This one is quite funny because if you sum one one and the string x and then x and the three and the numbers one and one, well, you get first 25 because you're actually doing a simple sum operation here 1 plus 1 equals 2 and then the plus operator will actually concatenate the number 2 here with the string 5. So you get a string that is 25. On the second log, similarly you have x which is a string and the string 5. So the first plus will concatenate the string 5 with the number 1 as string and the same will do with the second number. So 5, 1 and 1. Game number 6. Here is a little bit trickier because if you pass these three strings here, the trick is that when you call parse int, the first value will be the string you had in your array and the second value, the radix, is actually the index in the array. So if we go a moment in the REPL, if I call parse int with the string 1 and nothing here well, as the second parameter, I get again the number 1. If I pass 0, which is actually our first case here, this is still valid as a decimal number. But we say that only accepted values are between 2 and 36, which are specifying the base of the number that is here. So if we pass whatever string here 
and we say is on base 1, well, this is not a number because it doesn't work. If you also put a higher number here, it still doesn't work. So this is the second execution here. The third time, we pass 100 and the index is 2. So why do we get 4? Well, if you see this number in base 2, well, this is exactly 4. You can see here, if you pass 1, it's 1. If you pass 10 or 1, 0, it's 2. 1, 1 is 3. And 1, 0, 0 is our number 4. Moving on, game number 7. We have our result, which is true plus false. And the answer is 1. It is 1 because when you sum a Boolean value, true will be considered as 1 and false as 0. So 0 plus 1 is obviously 1. Well, game number 8. Here again, this is quite tricky because apparently there's nothing weird in this um, operation, but the result is 8 and 12 minus 2 is clearly 10. But the thing is, when we have this 0 here, it will be considered as base 8. So the number 12 in decimal in base 8 is actually 8 plus 2. And 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 minus 2, 8. There you have it. So game number 9. So this was or actually had to be a silly joke with to be or not to be with number 3. And again, if we sum the number b to not to b, this is similar to the game where we had true plus false. This is actually false, so 0 and 3 plus 0. There you have it, 0. Moving on, the last game, game number 10. So, here, if you follow my video, you might already guess the answer, because we're in JavaScript, there's a decimal number. But actually, no, this works just fine. You might have expected something like 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2, which gives this long number. But with 0 0.3 or 4 or 5, the sum is just right like that. And that was it for today. If you missed the first 12 challenges of the other video, you can find it here below. And if you want to continue watching my content, well, YouTube has selected this video specifically for you. So you might want to have a look. With that said, thanks for watching and see you the next time.